Hey, what's up, universe? It's 8.38 a.m. Central Time on Sunday, September 3rd, 2023. All right, so I'm just kind of going on a little riff here. This is all going to be opinion. This is speculation, my own conjecture, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm just feeling called to speak about this topic uh, that I'm about to get into, and I'm not sure entirely why, but I'm just going to go ahead and start going on about it. Uh, to give you some context here, I'm going to give you a little bit of background about myself. Um, you know, if you've been following me, you know that I've been in IT for a long time. That's been my professional uh, shtick for a long while. Um, when I was a child, I started off on like the Odyssey and then the Commodore 64 and just progressed from there. Um, I have a wide and varied experience in the IT industry. I've been called the Zach of all trades, uh, kind of lovingly by the CEO of, of Advanced Biotechnologies. Um, I have just a lot of just varied background in IT. So that being said, I am not a network engineer. I'm not a network architect. I'm not an expert in that field, although I have set up uh, networks and VPNs. I have worked at an internet service provider. Uh, I have worked on some larger routers, but not some of the large edge routers that you would find. You know, So I have some experience with some of this stuff, but again, I'm not an expert. So if anybody's watching this, that is, I'm just going to ask for some grace around some of what I might be speaking about. Um, so yesterday I made some videos and it was just coming into my consciousness to look at the you know loft heavy industries and their testimony to Congress in May, I believe it's May 19th, 1998, so you guys can go find that uh, on YouTube and that's a very, very interesting uh, listen. I would totally recommend checking that out uh, if you have a technical inclination. The information that's spoken about by loft in in their testimony, there's a segment probably about the 12 to 15 minute mark, I believe. Uh, one of the senators um, says, uh, it's come to my attention that um, the seven of you in front of us, it's been said that you could take down the internet for the whole world, right? Now, if you go look up BGP hijacking, uh, you know, there's a Wikipedia article. Um, this is basically what they were talking about in 1998. This protocol, and this is mentioned in the FCC security workshop as well, they give a story, a history, like probably one of the first things they talk about in that workshop uh, is the history of the BGP protocol. And this protocol is basically what's used to connect large networks together that make the internet talk. They call it, BGP is called the glue of the internet. And it's a, it's a, it's, how do I want to say this? It's, it's a trust-based protocol, basically. It was never designed with security in mind. So what's interesting about this protocol is since it is pretty trivial compared to other forms of security that we're used to in the digital era, we'll put it that way, it's rather trivial to redirect traffic or even black hole parts of the internet, large parts of the internet, and then in a more sophisticated attack, redirect huge portions of the internet to other networks that mimic the, the, how do I want to say, the trusted destination, we'll say, right? Um, Amazon with their AWS experienced this, there's been crypto exchanges, and that's part of the reason that I want to talk about this too, is that, so there's different layers of wallets, right? There's a saying in the crypto arena, not your keys, not your wallet, right? So the exchanges are the least secure, the next level down is the soft wallets on your phone or the laptop, and then the most secure is the offline storage or the cold storage. The thing with the with BGP, right, one of the more sophisticated kind of attacks is where uh, crypto exchanges were potentially, um, how do I want to say, I was going to say potentially targets, they were definitely targets, and I say potentially because there's other things on the network that were redirected that could have also been a potential target as well. So I just put that out there as my own speculation that what we hear about in the news could be one thing and the things that we don't hear about could also potentially have been targets as well. Um, okay, so here's what I found. And again, this is speculation, this is conjecture. Here's the title of the article. And it this article is an interesting one about the AWS um, hijack and what happened with that. 
Uh, and then from this article right here, yeah, let me hold on a second. This section of the story is probably most interesting to me. So right here, specifically this one. And then there's this. And you can go check this out yourself. You can verify this information yourself if you would like. And that is an actual quote, so I clicked on this link. And it took me here. To this guy's link, right? So this is, this is the original comment. So again, this is all conjecture and speculation. It's all stuff in my brain. And uh, I just am curious about it myself just because of the stuff that's been coming up, you know, with the whole Mr. Robot scene and the ransomware with Quackbot coming up, you know, Loft, the heavy industries, the BGP protocol, um, and just all of the things. I'm just, I'm just curious about it and I felt called to talk about it and I know I've been kind of speaking for a while now so I appreciate you being with me if you stuck with me so far. Definitely take a look, do your own research, draw your own conclusions. Alright, love you guys. Talk to you later.